This another blind insertion device, what is called a combi tube. Basically, it is a combination of two tubes. That is why it is combi tube. You can see like there are two tubes, tube number one and tube number two. Tube number one is a blue one and tube number two is a white one. And when you are looking at this, when you are following the structure, you can see when you are follow the tube number one, here it is a universal connector. Then there is a transparent portion. Here it is a blue balloon, that is a pilot balloon. And here it is a mark. This is for the, when a final insertion, this mark should be at the incisor level. And going down like the two cuffs, two balloon, two cuff, two cuff means one cuff is the, this yellow one. This is called the pharyngeal cuff and this is called the esophageal or the tracheal cuff. And you are following the tube, you can see that in the front portion of the tube and the back portion of the tube, you can see like eight opening, four opening here and four opening here. And you going further down, you can see the tip, the tip is totally blind. The tube number one, tube tip is totally blind. Then coming to uh, look at the uh, uh, when we are following the tube number two, same way like there is a universal connector, uh, then there is a pilot balloon, there is a white balloon, then you go down, there is a marker, then the balloons, then here you see the tube number two, there is no opening here, it is totally uh, no opening anteriorly or posteriorly. When you go to the tube number one, there is a four opening in the back side and a four opening on the, uh, on, the on the front side. And then you following this, uh, you can see the tip is opening. So this is the structure. Then how will you insert this tube? For insertion, definitely you can put it some jelly here on the cuff and all. Then open the airway and hold like this and then blindly insert. No need of a laryngoscope. You simply insert blindly like this. Go until you will get a resistance. Now the tube is totally uh, tube is in at this level. You can see that this is at the incisor level. And after this, you have to inside inflate both cuff, both in, uh, both uh, tracheal cuff or the esophageal cuff and the pharyngeal cuff. And the volume of air required, it is written here, for the white one it is a 12 ml and the other one it is up to, uh, up to 85 ml is required. For the blue one up to 85 ml is required, this only like 12 ml is required. When this is inflated, what will happen like both these, both these cuff are, cuffs are inflated, the larynx is coming in between, uh, in be between the larynx is coming somewhere here. So if you inflated this cuff and this cuff. Uh, larynx and here it will these cups are creating a airtight seal so how you go ahead with this ventilation process first of all you have to start ventilating with the tube number one uh, attach your ambu bag in the tube number one and you start ventilating and if you are start ventilating if you are getting a chest rise means chest rise means tube is in the esophagus because you are inflating this cup and this cup and larynx is here. So because of uh, is in the esophagus, air is leaking or air is coming out through the four holes and that will go get into the airway or get into the lungs. But suppose you are inflating through the tube number one, if you are not getting a chest rise means tube is not in the esophagus to be correctly in the trachea. In that case, you shift your ventilation pattern or ventilation process from tube number one to tube number two and then uh, you start ventilating, you will get the air entry and you fix the tube and continue with your ventilation. This is what is called a combi tube and it's a very simple device. It can use even for an, a paramedic, even an uh, ambulance scenario, pre-hospital scenario or someone with a difficult airway.